Well, as Kenyans await the announcement of a new election date, the country is now gripped by the debate on whether or not the country's electoral commission is fit to conduct the repeat vote. CGTN's Robert Nagila has the latest. A historic and stunning decision is how a ruling by Kenya's Supreme Court nullifying the results of the presidential elections is being described. The petition had been filed by opposition leader Raila Odinga challenging the win by President Uhuru Kenyatta in the just concluded poll. The Chief Justice laid the blame squarely on the Electoral Commission saying it had failed to conduct the poll according to the Constitution and the election law. For the second day running, President Uhuru Kenyatta has criticized the decision by the court, saying it does not reflect the will of the people, but he will respect the decision. So what happens next? The ruling sets the country on an uncharted territory. It's the first time a court has invalidated a presidential election. The election rerun must take place within 60 days of the ruling. The winner must garner 50% plus one of the total votes cast. Failure to reach that threshold will lead to a runoff election. The opposition says it will not allow the Electoral Commission to organize the poll. However, the process of removing the commissioners from office is long and complicated. The government, meanwhile, says it will not entertain the removal from office of the commissioners, setting the stage for a bruising battle ahead of the polls. Robert Magela, CGTN, Nairobi, Kenya.